In this video, I am going to talk about a very big question, a very famous question asked by a lot of designers that should designers learn to code? Should designers learn to code? Should they be doing developers work? So I am going to give you the answer, my full answer, how it is helpful in their career in this video. So let's get started. Now, number one is whenever you hire someone, for example, you are working with a carpenter. Okay, so you can see here I have a drawing of a cabinet. You can see over here. So I have a drawing of a cabinet. Let's let me show you this. Okay, so here we have it. So you can see I have shown all the measurements, all different um, angles and all that heights and everything in his own language. So uh, you can see I have mentioned everything in inches. Why not feet or centimeters or things like that? Because in our country, all the carpenters, all these uh, people who make these or finish these wooden kind of woodcraft, they work in inches. So you can tell them the depth of the tables, the height of that uh, drawers or tables or anything you are trying to uh, you know convey your message so when you are a designer and you have a you have to work with a developer you should at least know and at least know how to talk in developers terms you know you should know the language of your developer you should be able to talk to them you should be able to tell them what actually you want so you have to know their language you have to study a little bit how actually you can see this sketch is not anywhere close to you can finish product but he can easily understand my idea that this is how actually i want these many drawers i want uh, these are the locks uh, places of locks these are the, the uh, here I, I want the handles to be placed so this is all about uh, learning designers code so if you are a designer i suggest that you should have some of the understanding of coding at least you should learn 20 to 30 percent concepts of coding you should know how php works how different variable works php is the language behind wordpress so if you're a designer watching this video you should know that php is uh, a language web server language that is uh, going to get a database uh, from a db server database server and display it on and put the values get from there and put the values on your browser which is going to be front end or the web browser or web uh, front end web development that is html and css so whatever you see on your screen in a web page is mostly html and css so you should know all the different css values color values different shadows how this different uh, css actually works whether uh, whether your effects or whatever you are using in your design is going to be easily converted to um, coding or not. So you should talk to your developers, you should try to learn what the language is, how they actually name different items, naming conventions. These are really necessary. You should learn at least uh, both of the languages. So developers, you should have some knowledge of the design tools like Adobe XD or Photoshop. You should know how to extract images. You should know how to hide and show different layers, these kind of stuff. So for developers and for designers, both have to learn some uh, aspects of the other side of the mirror. So you should know that uh, you should know that uh, you you have to communicate with them effectively. So to do that, you have to learn. You should know how browser works how different image types actually load in the browsers, how HTML and JavaScripts are initiated, how they actually uh, load in your uh, web page, how many uh, kind of fonts are going to be loaded, whether it is going to uh, slow down the page or not. These, there are a lot of things I think designers must know. I have seen some designers that they don't even know. For example, if you have an illustration, for example, you have an illustration in the header of your website. So if you try to save that illustration into PNG uh, transparent uh, image file or JPEG image, it is going to take like 150 kilobytes. 
So if you try to convert that into an SVG format and you give your developer an SVG, they can apply it and it is going to just take two kilobytes. So from 200 kilobytes, you saved almost 198 kilobytes and you just shifted to two kilobytes. So that page is going to load very fast. Similarly, how different positioning, how different grid systems they work in uh, in your developers format, for example, mostly developers are working in Bootstrap. You have to get some of the knowledge of Bootstrap. You should know that these things can be hidden on the mobile uh, or in on uh, what layout is going to be uh, on your um, iPad or medium size screen for smaller size screens for larger size screen. So you should learn some of the basics of programming. CSS and HTML. Learn first CSS and HTML cascading style sheets. It is related to web development. Uh, then you can also learn about uh, tools that are going to help your developers like Zeppelin, third party tools that are going to hand uh, over your design to your developers. Zeppelin and Evocode. These are the two names that are coming to my mind. There are other tools too, but these are the two most famous. So you have to learn all these tools and things and uh, you can say naming conventions and the languages uh, of your developers. So you should understand what they are trying to say. You should understand uh, their terminologies a little bit and you should understand how different browsers and different servers and different apps actually works. So there are limitations of each platform. For example, if you're designing for iOS apps, there might be some limitations. If you're designing for Android or Google Material Design, there might be some limitations. So you have to learn that limitations. Try to talk to your developers that this is possible or not. Always ask questions and it is going to build your knowledge about coding and different limitations of different iOS operating systems or um, different platforms. So that is all about this today's video. Uh, today is 30th December, New Year's coming. So I wish you all best of luck in new year till then take care and bye and don't forget to subscribe and like this video if you have learned something new see you soon in another video